So everyone is talking about how to get that clean girl look and I feel like I finally got the look down to a T. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I go from this to this. Let's get right into it. Welcome to my bathroom, by the way. If you've seen my previous video where I show y'all my everything shower routine, then you're already familiar with this space in my apartment. So welcome back. By the way, if you haven't seen my last video, I will link it down in the description so you can check it out if you're interested. All the jewelry that you see me wearing in this video is from Ana Luisa. You can use my code SloanBird10 for 10% off. I love Ana Luisa so much and I feel like their pieces are especially perfect to achieve this clean girl look. I have these earrings on right now. They're just cute little hoops. This cute little dainty gold bracelet. And again, so perfect for this clean girl look. Also, make sure to click the link in my description box to check out their website. I think we're gonna start off this process by doing our makeup. So I'm just gonna clip my hair back really quick. So I think the clean girl look is really just another term for the no makeup makeup look that everyone was using a few years back. I think the goal for both looks is to make people think that you just kind of like rolled out of bed looking perfect and that you had to put like little to zero effort into looking presentable. But anyways, I think that's the vibe that we're gonna go for. I just did my brows using my Patrick Ta brow wax. I love that brow wax so much. Now I'm gonna use this Dior primer all over my skin. I love this primer so much. It really just, it kind of mattifies your skin, but not too much to where it looks like you're gonna do like a really heavy makeup look. It also smells really nice. I'm going in with this Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter Foundation. I'm not gonna use too, too much all over my face. I just kind of want it to give me a nice even base all over the skin. And I'm gonna use this wet beauty blender. I also like to blend my foundation up onto my eyelids and around my eyes, even though I'm gonna put concealer underneath my eyes and end up blending the concealer a little bit on my eyelids as well. Again, I just want like a really nice even coat all over my face, including my eyelids. By the way, I'm in the shade 5 Tan in this Flawless Filter. Next, I'm gonna use this NARS concealer. I'm in the shade Medium 2 Gender, and I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes and also cover up any blemishes that I have. I think having your skin looking like skin is really important for this look and so for the most part I'm going to be using cream products. So for my bronzer and blush, I'm going to use this duo stick from Dibs Beauty. One side is a bronzer and the other side is a blush and I am in the shade 4. I'm going to put it on my forehead and carve a little cheekbone on each side and then I'll put a little bit on my jaw. I don't normally do that, but we're gonna try something new today. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do my nose. And I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna take this cream bronzer and sort of contour my eyes to give it that like lifting effect. I have no idea if that actually makes my face look lifted, but I see everyone doing it. So why not try, right? Going to do a light bake under my eyes just to make sure the concealer doesn't crease up underneath there. I say light bake and then I do a full bake underneath my eyes. I just love baking so much. I've always done it ever since it became a thing. I think it's so satisfying too. 
And then I'm also gonna dust on that same baking powder onto my T-zone because that's where I tend to get really oily. And I wanna be glowy, but not oily. I think there's a huge difference between the two. So there's some parts of my face that I'm not gonna put powder on, like my cheeks and stuff. I'm just gonna let that oil do its thing, but like on my chin and sometimes my nose gets a little too oily. So I like to just lightly put on a little bit of powder and I'm gonna throw it onto my eyelids as well because I have hooded eyelids and so it tends to crease up really bad over there as well. For the eyes, I'm gonna use this Dior eyeshadow palette and I think I'm gonna go in with like this brownish color. It's a little shimmery. It's kind of my go-to and I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelid and all in my crease just to give me a little bit of color, but I don't want too, too much. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. And dust away this bake. Now I'm going to use this mascara from Bite Beauty and I'm just gonna use a little, little bit of mascara. I'm actually gonna kinda wipe off a lot of it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line as well. This is very crucial to every makeup look that I do. Oh, and I almost forgot blush. I'm gonna go in again with the Dibs Beauty Duo Stick. Blend it all out. Okay, I don't know why, but for some reason the blush isn't really showing up. I don't know if I didn't put enough, but I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta um, powder blush instead of a cream blush because I don't know if it's just like, I don't know what the deal was with that, but now you can tell I have blush on. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose, just for fun. And now for the lips, I'm gonna use this Dior Lip Glow. It's like a little lip balm, and I think I'm in the shade 26 Plum, and I'm not gonna drag it across my lips because it's so dark i'm just gonna like dab it just to add a little bit of color onto the lips and clean up the edges my laneige lip balm i usually use this at night i'm just gonna use my finger there's a little applicator that comes with it but i just like dipping it with my finger in there So that is it for the makeup look. This is really simple and easy to do, especially if you're a beginner in makeup, you could try to do this look and I feel like it would look really pretty on everyone. And again, super easy to do. Now we are going to move on to the hair. My favorite hairstyle is literally anything slicked back. I actually used to be a dancer when I was younger and so I was really good at doing anything slicked back because we had to do, you know, the slick back bun and everything like that. And I just feel like I know how to make it like slicked back and like no flyaways, nothing. I think we're gonna do like a, a middle part slicked back ponytail. Yeah, the products that I'm gonna use for this hairstyle are two ponytail holders, Tresemme hairspray, this nourishing hair oil from Sol de Janeiro, bobby pins from Conair, and I don't always use bobby pins, but it just depends on if I'm having a good hair day or not. And then also this hairbrush from The Hair Edit. I got it from Ulta. This rat tail comb is also from The Hair Edit, and I also got it from Ulta. And last but certainly not least, because this is probably the most important product that you need in order to really get those flyaways down, this soft brush. I got it from Walmart. It's from the brand Evolve. I think I'm just gonna speed through me doing this hairstyle. If you want a tutorial, I can link it down below because I did 
um, an Instagram Reels and a TikTok video doing a very similar hairstyle. It was the same exact thing, but I just threw my hair up in a bun instead of a ponytail. Um, so if you want to check that out, I will link it in the description box. Or if you guys want me to do like a whole YouTube video doing a slicked back uh, hair tutorial, I would love to do that. Just let me know in the comments. It's a whole arm workout, every time. Okay, so here is the final look with my hair done. I just love this hairstyle so much. It's my go-to, it's so easy. I literally did this in like three minutes. I have a little bump right here, but I tried to save it with a bobby pin. I did an all right job. This side's definitely better. Before I wrap this video up, I wanted to mention a few other small things that I feel like really pull this clean girl look together. Number one is that I always like to have my nails looking fresh and done. My go-to polish is OPI Bubble Bath for my manicure and pedicure. The next thing I wanted to quickly mention was fragrance. I've been really loving this Miss Dior perfume and this Daisy by Marc Jacobs perfume. They both smell so like fresh and florally and clean and then I also just quickly changed because I wanted to talk about what I like to wear to look like a clean girl and I'm just wearing this cute little <gasps> number from Aritzia it's their divinity seven inch romper and it's like in a baby pink color it's really pretty here's a little full body of the romper I love it so much this is my version of the clean girl look I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to link all the products down in the description box. Um, and I'm also going to try to include all of the shades that I'm in, just in case anyone's wondering. Speaking of my description box, please don't forget to click the link to check out Ana Luisa. And also, don't forget to use my code SLOANBIRD10 for a 10% off discount. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.